Hey guys, this is Josh with Solution Based Plumbing and Heating. In regard to boiler pressure, we want to make sure that we're checking the pressure on a yearly basis. Uh, when there is air inside the heating system, you tend to get less efficiency and you can even end up with a rad or a piece of baseboard that's not heating at all. You're going to find somewhere on your boiler a gauge that looks almost exactly like this. They've changed over the years, but the basic components are the same. Temperature on one side, pressure on the other. Um, you're going to look at this gauge, you're going to look at the PSI side, and you're going to read the pressure on the PSI side, and that's going to tell you what your pressure is. Typical system pressure is between 12 and 15 pounds. Um, and the, if it is low or you're bleeding the system, I'm going to show you now how to go about adding makeup water um, when you have an auto feed with a bypass. Um, this is your typical auto feed with bypass right here. It's called a 911S. This is the back flow preventer. This is the auto feed. This is the bypass valve at the bottom. In this configuration, if this is working, um, in order to bleed the system, all you need to do is open the, the loose key valve at the rad, and this should provide automatic makeup water uh, when you're doing that. Often these are not working after a few years, they start to go bad, and you'll need to do it manually. This valve should be in the off position. It's forcing the water to go through this. If you want to bypass, you're going to open it up like that. That is going to allow, system, allow you control of the system water that goes in. At that point, you open it up to tr and get this boiler pressure to be between 12 and 15 pounds. After you check the gauge, you want to make sure that if it's under 12 pounds in a two-story home, that you add water to the system. Uh, this is critical for not only bleeding the rad, but making sure that the system operates at the proper set point. In a three-story building, you're going to want to be at approximately 19 to 20 pounds. We don't want to get too close to the operating pressure of the pressure relief valve, which is 30 pounds, but we need 20 pounds approximately to get that heat up to the third story. I cannot say to you enough, do not do this to a hot vessel. If your temperature is over 140 degrees, then you should wait, turn it off, wait until it has cooled down, and then add water. Otherwise, you could ruin your entire system.